Hello, my name is Chad, and today I just got the Steam Controller. I'm so excited. I've been waiting this, for this thing for forever. This controller is made by Valve and is wired or wireless. It costs $49.99. There's a whole bunch of hardware features packed into this thing. You have two touch pads on each side. You also have a joystick. You have four buttons. Those are A, B, X, and Y. On the back, at the top, you have two bumpers, and then you also have two triggers, and these are dual stage triggers, so you can press them down halfway, and that is a response that you can do, and then you can fully click as well. And then on the very, very bottom of the device, where your fingers rest around the controller, there are two more buttons. In the middle, there is select and start buttons, and there's also a steam button that when you press, will either open up the dashboard when you're in game, or if you press and hold when you're out of game, will open up big picture mode, so you can jump straight in to your games. Now, both of the track pads on each side can be pressed down for an extra click, and same thing with the joystick. On the back, there is a micro USB port where you can plug in a micro USB cable to play in wired mode. Inside there's a gyroscope and an accelerometer. They claim up to 80 hours of gameplay and you can have the wireless controller about five meters away from the receiver, which is included along with a little stand and a USB cable. The controller takes two AA batteries in the back. Now, the coolest feature of this controller has to be the touch pads. On one side, you have an indent of a D-pad, so you could use that as a directional pad. And then on the other side, it's just plain. But both of these are just plain old touch pads like you would find on a laptop. And they use haptic to let you know that you're moving either the cursor or swiping or scroll wheel or whatever different setting you decide to put these in. In fact, there's a ton of different settings you can set the track pads in. You can choose from directional pads. They could be buttons. They could be joysticks. They could be mice or they could be a scroll wheel. You can even use the track pad as a virtual keyboard whenever you have to type in something to either a search field or Google or Twitter or wherever. Now, the thing that could easily kill even the best controller is game integration. And Steam has done the perfect job of making this work with your Steam games. There's many games on Steam that already have controller support. And if they do have controller support, it's basically plug and play, you're ready to go, no big fuss. But if there's a game that isn't ready for controllers, well, the community can either submit their own profiles for you to use, or you can set up your own. And setting it up is very easy. There's a very intuitive and detailed, deep, advanced system for you to configure your settings on the controller. So either using the community's controller map or one that you've built yourself, you should be good to go. Now Steam Big Picture Mode is required in order to save and upload and use these controller maps. So what are my impressions on the Steam controller? Well in the pros, the crowdsource controller mapping for games makes the controller basically compatible with every game, so that's a big plus. The two bottom triggers are a great extra feature that can come in really handy so that you don't take your fingers off of the trackpad. The price is really competitive at $49.99 but that's a ridiculous price for a gaming peripheral. Now, the controller doesn't feel very premium. Uh, the plastic is basically normal plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap either. So that's kind of like a middle ground thing. Now, in the cons, I didn't like that the joystick mode on the touchpad it just doesn't feel perfect. It feels way better when using the trackpad uh, in like mouse mode than in joystick mode. In Mirror's Edge, I tried to use the joystick mode and it was basically impossible. Once you get your finger gets to the edge of the trackpad, it's kind of hard to tell that it's there and it's just very, very confusing. And I found using mouse mode was a lot more usable. Also, the placement of the buttons on the controller can feel really weird, especially if you're used to uh, either a PlayStation or an Xbox controller when your thumbs are resting on joysticks and buttons. Your thumbs naturally rest on the track pads, which makes you a little bit of effort to find the joystick and the button. It may take some time to get used to the controller, but that is time happily spent. What, did you think I'm correct? Do you think I'm crazy? What do you think about my review of the Steam controller? If you have one yourself, please leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Leave a like on this video if you, if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for future videos at youtube.com slash omgchad. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.